Guys, there's no point in looking cute when you're trying to do some hard freaking yard work. So I am convinced that my wife is Wonder Woman. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. This is just another video of showing you guys some things that we're doing to make our backyard more beautiful. These are some photos of before. Let's get to it. So this is the rock retaining wall I had mentioned earlier um, in another video that we want to restore. And so I had to remove all these huge rocks. I know I did this all myself. I don't know how I did it or had the strength but I decided to put all the small rocks to help lift it up. But then I realized we're gonna put weed block to kind of help control, which you guys, I have to do this. Even over here, this is a the same type of wall right here. So it's just been overtaken by weeds and grass. And so I need to dig it all out, but I'm gonna put um, weed block. Then I'm going to put these small rocks back down. Um, so that is the plan and then I don't know, strategically lay these down. Um, and I did notice it does go over here too. I don't think I'm gonna do this because it's so close to this gigantic burn. Uh, let it begin. Okay, so here's what it looks like from this angle. Here's our little stairs. I'm trying to make it as flat as possible, but unfortunately when I removed these giant rocks, um, it did lower the dirt level. So I'm going to lay down this stuff um, I did remove all the little rocks. I'm going to lay down the weed block and then pile up all the small rocks and then put the big rocks and get it as close to the wall as I can. And then we'll see if we're able to like get some filler dirt from around our yard. Cause, I mean, we have a huge yard and there's some areas that we're still trying to flatten. So I don't, I'm not like worried about it or anything. But let's see how that goes. So I am convinced that my wife is Wonder Woman because of all the strength that she has shown in removing all these rocks from this retaining wall. And uh, I would like to show you the progress that she has made so far while I've been diligently working <laughs> inside and not able to help her. But um, yeah, let's show, let's show you. Check this out. Liner is down. What we, what we really wanted was to prevent this from happening where you have the rocks and you got all these grass and weeds growing right through it to the point where you can't even really see them anymore. So we're trying this to see um, kind of what happens here to prevent that from happening. And I'm really interested to see what this looks like after we add all these rocks back in here. And we didn't even know all these giant rocks were under there. Yeah, look at these giant boulders. I, I actually know. found like four more over here. I don't know I'm how you did that. Look, look, look at these, <laughs> look at these. That is crazy. It's losing my strength. <laughs> <laughs> so now I just gonna put all these little rocks in here just to give it some height because like I said, when we removed, when I removed all these big rocks, it really lowered and I had to level, level it out as best as I could. And so I'm hoping that this will help heighten it a bit. Um, let's see how it goes. <laughs> all right, so far, this is what I have done. It looks pretty good. It's not completed though. Um, I still have a lot of rocks back there. And some of these like right here are not gonna stay there. I want it to be as flat as possible. I'm just trying to strategically place them. And then I was talking to Joelle and we decided we're going to get our flat shovel and kind of just flatten this out and push the dirt after we get all the, the grass away from it, um, push it up, up against it. So it doesn't look, cause it kind of like goes further back, but um, I think it's coming out really good. I wish we had more larger rocks so we could really stack them, but it's pretty good for using what we have just within our grounds. Dirt all over my face. 
on my hands, even though I wore gloves, like I swear I go through gloves so fast. So that part of the wall is done. I'm super happy. I love the way it looks. I leveled this little part out to make it more flat back there. And I just have, I found all these bulbs that would grow during, I think it was like spring, early spring. So I'm just gonna start planting them in different areas right here. So that way it'll really be really pretty next year. Let's do it. Okay guys, does it really matter? Do they really have to go in the right way? Will they still grow if I put them upside down? <laughs> I kinda just, I'm tired. I don't really wanna do anymore. I just got all these, so I'm just gonna go like this. Let's see what happens next year, okay? And I guess I'll be the guinea pig. I am so dirty, you guys. So another thing that I wanna do, I was on Pinterest and I saw, um, what did I call it? I don't know, like steps or, I, I looked up retaining walls and I saw steps like we have here, but we ended up putting some mulch and I really just don't like the way it looks. I feel like it, it falls down a lot. So I scooted all of this one down and I put it right here. But I found this and I just love how it is all rock and that way it shouldn't be slippery or anything because that's why we were worried. So I'm hoping when I try this out that it's going to work and it'll look good. So let's test it out. This dirt was incredibly hard. Uh, this is as much as I got out. I'm gonna lay these rocks flat, pretty much like this, just trying to cover as much of the area as I can and leaving little gaps. And then I'm going to cover them with dirt. The big ones I will try to put further down so it's not too much a gap, like that's too raised. So I'm gonna try and lower or find a lower spot in the ground. Actually right here will work just fine. And then just see what I come up with and I'll show you guys at the end. Here it is. I am so happy with it. Look at how good that looks. Like, oh my gosh. I, I'm gonna hose it down, I have my hose. I do wanna tell you though, after I put them down, I tried to put the most smoothest part down so it's not too bumpy. Then I covered it with dirt. I didn't use sand or anything. I'm just using what I have. And then I have this stomper and I went ahead and did that to make sure all the dirt was really compacted. And now I'm gonna rinse it so the dirt can settle and it could dry really hard around it. And then also just give them a nice clean look and then I'll show you after. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look horrible. You guys, there's no point in looking cute when you're trying to do some hard freaking yard work. So Joel just came out. I'm gonna show him the steps and let him get I want to get his reaction, so let's see what he does. <laughs> wow. How's that look? That's so cool. Great job, man. Yay! It's all cobblest cobblestone-like. Tell me. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You gotta come down here too. We test out the new steps. New and improved steps. How'd it feel? <laughs> Babe. <laughs> but like it feels pretty sturdy, right? And it shouldn't be slippery or anything. So I love it. I love, I was telling him how I love how all the rock flows. Once we get rid of all these rocks up here, it'll look a lot better. I think we're gonna put these, loud car, sorry. <laughs> I think we're gonna put these um, down by the fire pit because they're nice and really big. And the ones we have down there right now are pretty small. But I love it, you guys. You can totally do this. If you have a lot of rocks in your backyard and you're trying to find something to do, this is a really cool idea. And the rock wall as well. And you can, I'm sure you can, if you had 
planners, you couldn't even line these up. We do have some areas like that. But just keep in mind that it is gonna be a little hard to cut the grass with a mower. You're probably gonna have to use like a weed whacker or something. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and my crazy look. Like, I am so exhausted and Joelle loves it. I love it. Now the kids are awake. We have to go get them and take a shower. <laughs> and I'm so glad you guys are here for this. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.